said that if I went out with you, I could drive a car on Mars. <laughs> you know, like, what's his deal? Is it girls, guys, sock puppets? <laughs> Honestly, we've been operating under the assumption that he has no deal. Oh, come on, everybody has a deal. Not Sheldon. Over the years, we formulated many theories about how he might reproduce. <laughs> I'm an advocate of mitosis. <laughs> I'm sorry? I believe one day Sheldon will eat an enormous amount of Thai food and split into two Sheldons. <laughs> On the other hand, I think Sheldon might be the larval form of his species, and someday he'll spin a cocoon and emerge two months later with moth wings and an exoskeleton. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the nightmares. <laughs> no, wait. You have to drive me to work. Yeah, I, I really don't think I do. <laughs> But I don't drive, and I can't take the bus. Hey, honey, you'll be fine as long as you don't do that bungee cord thing, okay? Yeah, Penny. <laughs> Didn't you recently state that you and I are friends? Yes, Sheldon, we are friends. Then I hereby invoke what I'm given to understand as an integral part of the implied covenant of friendship. <laughs> the favor. Oh, dear God. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was interrupting your morning prayers. <laughs> when you're done, we'll go. Really? Boy, you'd think you could trust a horde of Hungarian barbarians. <laughs> Please, Penny, enough. I have to sleep. OK, well, you were great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, Leonard, listen, don't go in Sheldon's room. He's not wearing bottoms. <laughs> What do you want? Remember how Leonard told you we couldn't come to your performance because we were attending a symposium on molecular positronium? I remember symposium. Yes, well, he lied. Wait, what? He lied, and I'm feeling very uncomfortable about it. Well, imagine how I'm feeling. Hungry? <laughs> Tired? I'm sorry, this really isn't my strong suit. Included Howard Wallowitz? No, I'm sorry. I really am. It's not right to mock what a person believes in. Thank you. Would you be willing to go to my psychic and see what it's all about? Would you be willing to read a book that concisely explains how all psychics are frauds? I would not. He throws the book-shaped present he's holding into a bin. OK, let's go see your psychic. Really? Well, yeah, one of us has to keep an open mind. Saying I don't have an open mind? No, no, not at all. Let me help you with this stuff. <laughs> you know I believe in ghosts, too. Great. And astrology. I know. And pyramid power and healing crystals. Oh, no, no, no. Crystals don't work. <laughs> really? That's the line? Psychics are real, but crystals are voodoo? Oh, voodoo's real. You don't want to mess with voodoo. <laughs> What did you mean when you said you were going to miss me? Um, I don't know. You'll be gone and I'll notice. <laughs> okay, well, um, what about this? What does this mean? Wine, credit card, and late night television are a bad combination. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, what about that really long hug? What did that mean? That wasn't a long hug. It was at least five Mississippis. <laughs> Standard hug is two Mississippis. Tops. <sighs> Leonard, I, I don't know what to tell you. It was just a hug. Glad we cleared that up. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll see you. OK. Have a safe trip. Thank you. <laughs> bye. OK, bye. <sighs> means I wish you were going.